Welcome to my class. We have in diagram involving three sets, and that's what we are going to be considering now. In diagram involving three sets. We use this representation of the given information with Venn diagram. Given that the investor set has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 15. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 can still continue. So it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Set A consists of elements 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 11. Set B consists of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Set C consists of elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I want to illustrate that with the diagram. The first thing you are going to have is the universal set, which is represented by a rectangle, and the circle for A. Circle to represent B, circle to represent C. And when you have those circles drawn, the next thing is you need to put the number in, put the number. So the first number you are going to input is the number common to the three, and that's two. That's two. Two is common to set A, set B, and set C. Then you have to look for elements common to set A and B, which are two, three, and five. And since you have two in the three, so we have this place left for three and five. Then elements common to A and C, two comma 10, you have to already, so we have 10 A. Then element common to B and C, two, four, and three. Since we have two here, then we can have four and six to show. Then element left in set A, seven and 11. So to check, you can see, Set A consists of element 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 11. Set B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Set C, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then you have the elements left in the universal set that is not found in A, B, and C. And those elements are 9, 13, 14, and 15. So we have all the elements down. So we can now check the element of the universal set with that rectangular box, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we want to now use illustration showing, shading the portion that has to do with the illustration. And that's notation, that's union of three sets. And those are set common to A alone, B alone, C alone, elements in A, elements in B, elements in C, which is A, union B, union C. So elements in A and B, elements in A and C, elements in B and C, and the elements common to the three of them are found in A, union B, union C, and that was, that's why this portion is shaded. And when you list those elements, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 9 is found in the universal set, 13 will be found in the universal set, 14 will be found in the universal set, and 15 in the universal set. The next one is the intersection of the three sets A, intersection B, intersection C. How do we illustrate that? Element found in A and C and B and C alone. And that's the element found here. That's why that portion is shaded. And the element found there is two. Complement of set involve, involving union, which means A, union B, union C brackets complement, which are elements that are found in the universal set, but not in A, B, and C. And those are the elements that should be portion to your student. The elements found there are nine, 13, 14 and 15, 9, 13, 14, and 15. Then complement of intersection. Complement of intersection. That's A, intersection B, intersection C, intersection A, intersection B, intersection C, 
bracket contain so those are elements found in the master set but not in the intersection of a b and c and it's only two that is not there and you have it as one comma three comma four comma five comma six comma seven comma eight comma nine comma ten comma eleven comma twelve comma thirteen comma fourteen comma fifteen now all that complement that's element found in a hello and that is denoted or represented with a intersection b union c bracket complement using your de morgan's law the union will change to intersection and b and c will be kind of complement so a intersection b complement intersection c complement and the element found here is seven and eleven then B, element found in B alone, that's B intersection A, union C, bracket complement using the Morgan's law. A and C carry the complement and then the sign will change to intersection. So A, A complement intersection B, intersection C complement, and the element found there is one. Also, element found in C alone, which is C intersection A, union B, bracket complement using the Morgan's law. A and B carry the complement and then the sign will change to intersection. So A complement intersection B complement intersection C. Element found there is the same. Other complements are element found in A and B alone. Element found in B and C alone. Element found in A and C alone. So what does it mean? Element found in A and B alone. We have A intersection B intersection C complement because C is not inclusive. And the element found there are three and five. Element found in B and C. So A will be carrying complement. A complement intersection B intersection C. And that's four we found there. And element found in A and C alone. A and C alone. So B will carry complement. A intersection B complement intersection C. And the element found there is 10. Which means that the don't everything about the set. So we want to do an example to illustrate that in a survey of 200, we want to use the sub for 290 newspaper readers, 180, one of them read the Daily Times, 142 read the Guardian, 117 read the Punch, and each read at least one of the three papers. If 75 read the Daily Times and the Guardian, 60 people read Daily Times and Punch, 54 read the Guardian and Punch. Draw a red diagram to illustrate this information. B, how many readers read all the three papers? Roman figure two, exactly two of the papers. Roman figure three, exactly one of the paper. And Roman figure four, the Guardian, the Guardian alone. So, since the first thing we are going to find is those people that read the papers, the three papers alone, and people that read the papers alone, they are not told. So we represent that with X. After having the circle for our daily time, circle for our guardian, circle for our punch, then the universal set. So after subtracting that, we have from people that read the daily time and the guardian, 75 minus X, people that read the daily times and the punch alone, 60 minus S. We would have read the guidance and the punch alone, 54 minus S. Then we want to see the other ones that are left. People that read the daily times alone is what we want to consider now. People that read the daily times alone. And that's what we are going to consider. Since we were told earlier that the number of people that read the daily times is 181. We have to subtract even those people that read two of the papers, the Daily Times and the, the Daily Times and the Guardian, the Daily Times and the Guardian. And what do you have? We have 75 minus X. Then people that read the three plus X, people that read the daily times and the punch, 60 plus 60 minus x, 60 minus x, that's for 60 minus x. Then 
when we add that, we have 181 minus 75 plus 60 will give us 135. The minus and plus will cancel. Then so we are going to have minus x. That's minus x. Minus x. Then we have when we open the bracket 181. When you open the bracket, that will give us minus 135 plus x because minus and minus will change that to plus. So what do we have next? We have it as 46. 46 plus x. And that's why we have that portion as 46 plus x. So the same way we can get the people that read the guidance alone. You no, know, we're informed that the people, number of people that read the guidance alone are 142. So 142 read the guidance altogether. So how do we get those people that read the guidance alone? So we are having this. For those people that read the guidance and the daytime time alone, that's 75. So we want to subtract that 75 minus x plus the people that read the three x plus the people that read the guidance and the punch 54 minus x so in our addition what do we have we have 142 minus 25 plus that will give us 129 120 nine minus and plus we give cancel 10 minus x when you open that bracket you're going to have 142 minus 129 plus x our final answer will be 18 plus x. And that's why we have 13 plus x for the people that read the guideline. The same way we can get people that read the punch alone. How many people read the punch alone? We're told that people that read punch all together is 117. 117 people read the punch all together. So what do we have? 117 minus people that read the punch and the daily and the daily times 60 minus x people that read the three plus x people that that read the punch and the guardian 54 minus x 54 minus x adding that we have 117 minus 60 plus 15 what will give us 113 minus x. I mean that a subtraction, 117 minus 113 plus x. And that will give us 3 plus x. And that's why you have three plus x, three plus x for people that do the point even with this, we are able to find all the portions of our Venn diagram. And since we are able to find all the portions of our Venn diagram, we, we know that all the portions are completely free. Lastly, since we are told the people read at least one of the part, that's why we have zero as the universal of the three years, because Everyone read at least one of the three papers. So this are Venn diagram. The next question now is, the next question now says, how many people read the three papers? That's X. So we begin to substitute. These are people that read the Daily Times alone, D. So Universal says 250, the Daily Times alone, we have it at 46 plus X. The Guardian alone, we have it at 10 plus X. The Punch alone, we have it at 30 plus X. People that read the punch, the daily times and the guidance, 75 minus x, the daily times and the 
the punch 60 minus x, the punch and the guidance 54 minus x. People that read the three x, the people that do not read any of the three, x, that read all the things that that's those ones that are found in universal sets, but not found in any of the three zero. So when you do our addition, we are going to have 290 minus 22 minus 250 is equal to 251 plus x. So that's 290 minus 251, which will give us 39. So the people that read the three papers, they are 39 people that read the three papers. The next question says, how many people read at least two of the papers? Two people that read the daily times and the punch, 60 minus x. People that read daily times and guidance, 25 minus x. People that read punch and guidance, 54 minus x. So, so two for x, 39, 39, 39. By the time you do that, 60 minus 39, 21. 75 minus 39, 36. 54 minus 39, 15. Addition of that will give us 72. So 72 people read exactly two of the papers. How many people read exactly one? That's people that read the punch alone, 3 plus s. People that read the daily times alone, 46 plus s. People that read the guardian alone, 13 plus s. So we add x as substitute 39 for x. So we have everything 179. Now, people that read the guidance alone is 13 plus x. So that's why we have 13 plus 39 to give us 52. Now, you have this as your own classwork and assignment. The school sport team contains 68 students, 33 do field events, 40 do track events, and 32 do swimming, 14 do boat field and track events. Eight do both swimming and feed events. Fifteen students do feed events only, and ten do both swimming and track events. How many students do a swimming only, b track events only, c all the three papers, all the three papers. I am. Uh, let me allow to see you in my next class. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.